Surf's up meets paddles up today on the Express. Couple backstrokes will get turned around. On today's show, stand up paddle boarding. And it's very simple once you get the basics down. Lauren just really stood out to us. Local filmmaker Lauren Grant. What's that? Josh Tannenbaum's steampunk art. He's a combination of Doctor Who and MacGyver. Almost a thousand people for seven days and that's seven nights. The BC Bike Race. BC is the mecca for mountain biking. See that and more local expression. Welcome to the Express at False Creek. I'm Joe Hannah Ward. We have a great snapshot of West Coast life on today's show. The active side with stand up paddle boarding and a cross country mountain bike race. And the artsy side. Later, it's steampunk, the subculture. And right now, it's women taking over Hollywood North. Filmmaker Lauren Grant is here at the Banff Media Festival. It's a place to network, make contacts, and even have a bit of fun. It's actually quite friendly, I think. I think it's overwhelming There's for some new people. There's a lot of decision makers here. There's a lot of international people here. But overall, like, it's quite friendly. Vancouver-based Lauren got the chance to attend Banff this year because of the Women in Film and Television Scholarship. Lauren just really stood out to us because, first of all, her projects are really far along. The fury of desire, you burn. When we looked at her background, she really supports women and women directors, women writers. She tells a lot of women's stories, and so she felt like an, aw an awesome ambassador for us uh, at WIFT to, um, to go and represent WIFT at the Banff uh, Media Festival. I produced the short film Savage, which won the Genie this year. It's a residential school musical. Yeah, I'm definitely attracted to projects that are female stories, but to me, female stories doesn't mean it's females on screen. So something like Savage, it was directed by a female, written by a female, starred females, produced by females. Lauren wastes no time in getting to work, mingling and attending seminars. A lot of business at Banff is done right here. Yes, I think that if you're a wallflower, then maybe you won't meet anyone. But again, when we were looking at the applications, you know, if you have some chutzpah and you, are, you really are driven and you're ready to drive your project, you can meet anybody at BAM. Yes, I definitely get tired at these. No matter what you do, you seem to not be able to get enough sleep. But if you're kind of casual, I think you can get a lot done. If you have a project and you have some chutzpah, then it's definitely a great place to go. I'm Erin Shaw in Vancouver for The Express. Lauren's newest film, Parkdale, was filmed with as many female crew as possible. Everyone from the PA to the director. And you can follow the film on Facebook. Now here's another one for the girls. Did you know that stand-up paddle boarding is especially popular with women? So today on the Express, we're at False Creek to find out if it's also true that women are naturally good at it. Pretty much all you need is a board and a paddle. And I'll grab this. Mother Nature helps with the rest. What I enjoy about the sport is the relaxation, the ability to get on the water and just enjoy the view, breathe, get away from your cell phone, all the activities that go on day to day, and it's very relaxing. Forward and back, long stroke. Karina and Christy started the company June 1st. They got the idea on a trip to Maui where everyone was paddling. So we thought, you know what, let's do this in Vancouver. Stand up paddleboarding is one of the fastest growing water sports in the world. The quick learning curve is one of the reasons why. Good stuff. It's actually really not that hard to pick up. A lot of people are finding it's very simple once you get the basics down and within 20 minutes, half an hour, you're standing up and paddling. Two feet, hips low, and stand. It was just fun. Yeah. Once you get that first paddle, you're fine. From our beginner lesson, we teach a lot of water safety and we teach them about the board, the paddle, and just forward stroke, basic, basic information. Okay, so I know which way is up. I'm just not sure which way to hold it. So you want to hold it with the blade away from you. So where the decal is on that board, that one is too. You just want to flip oh. it away. <laughs> there you go. Okay, the other this way. This one's a little easier. <laughs> the other way. <laughs> and as usual in life, I'm going backwards. <laughs> Paddle down, left and right, or right and left, right over your handle. The hips low. Okay. Look forward, come up. All right. Wiggling is easier than it is left and right. <laughs> All I had to do was wiggle on the board. There you go. 
I have to make this fake to do it. That's better. And then it works. Now you look like a pro. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> As Christy says, it can be relaxing. It's also great exercise. Definitely a spot I could get into. Nice core workout, challenging when the waves come in. Oof. Yes, definitely. I think you should go play with the yachts a little more for more of a challenge. The joy becomes finding a destination to paddle to. That becomes a challenge is picking a spot and going on that three hour paddle or four hour paddle or finding a boat out there that you want to race and uh, coming up with competitions that way. Another thing that they do with Stand Up Paddle Vancouver is teach you yoga. I'm not joking. Keep watching to see me downward dog on the board. Hey, you might call me a dreamer until you meet the duo in our next story that live in a fantasy world where steam power rules and technology blends with fashion. This is the world of steampunk. Boasting the latest in extrasolar nanotechnology. You need four hands to do this. He spreads his majestic wings ready to travel through time. He is Captain Chronomech. He's a combination of Doctor Who and MacGyver. Uh, so he travels through time and injects wonder back into history. He's also the alter ego Josh has been dreaming about since childhood. I've, I've always been resistant to growing up. And so Captain Chronomech is a manifestation of that part of me that I've spent the last 30 some years nurturing. You see, Josh and his wife are self proclaimed steampunks, artists who create characters, props. It uses a piece of an old heat gun. And artwork based on the steampunk subculture. Steampunk is an aesthetic that celebrates texture, warmth, uh, and Victorian era technology, but taken to a fantastic place, taken to a place where we have modern technology, but with this patina of age and texture to it. It's a way of taking historical objects, taking antiques, and reappropriating them, reincorporating them into new things. Like putting a Soviet era vacuum tube in this Xbox and an old stereo speaker on this costume prop. So this is Hephaestus's hammer. He's the god of the forge and of making things. For me, learning how things work and how things worked in the past and trying to bring that into the future again is, is really interesting. So I like to take things apart and I like to put them back together in new ways. They even created an interactive story display whereby touching an object triggers a narration on a computer screen. These pictures came from my contact with the new French. All of my work is directed at understanding how people become characters, how they transform, how they experience new points of view through narrative. The power of story is to give you an experience of seeing the world through someone else's eyes, of experiencing the world from a different perspective. A world of optimism where heroes like Captain Chronomech help mankind achieve its greatest potential. As soon as Josh fixes the time machine. I'm Tim Chung in Surrey for The Express. You can go to geekmovement.com for more information on the Tannenbaum steampunk art. I've been saying it, geek is the new chic. Stay with us, you're watching The Express, and we have more from Metro Vancouver's unique culture coming up. Yes. After the break, ladybugs and landscaping at Metro Town. Take it like this, or you throw it right at the base of the tree there. I started doing it on my board, and I thought, why not share this with others? Zup Yoga in False Creek. Knowing that Vancouver is the yoga capital of Canada. You're watching local TV on The Express. Community programming on Shaw has been generously sponsored in part by... The Express is brought to you in part by Plum, fashion supplier to host Johanna Ward.